So we got the RB26 getting back together now. Roberto's been working on it. And uh, we got some new parts coming in, being dropped off. Here's the motor. So this is coming together good. This is using the, it says Gretti cams in it. These cams were already in the car, so we're just gonna be reusing those. Um, but the whole motor's been redone. It's a fortified, forged motor now. Still 2.6, but it's got uh, manly rods and CP pistons. So, and we got all the stuff powder coated. So this is gonna look really good. Got that purple, of course. But we're redoing stuff as we go. Yeah. It looks good. That's the R34 one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. It does look pretty cool. You excited, Jake? I'm excited, man. It's been a while. What's your Instagram? JDM underscore snake. We're gonna check that out. You gotta go and see this build as it goes together. But, uh, really exciting. So Roberto has got something cool in his hand. Tell us why that's so cool. Who makes this again? It's a uh, SuperTech Racing. SuperTech. It converts the factory RB26 single notch spline, which is horrible, to a 2J style multi-spline. So this is uh, this lets us rev to 10 to 10,000. So you can see you can see inside there. There's actual spline drive, just like the 2JZ, and this fixes the oil pump starvation problems, or I should say starvation, breaking problems breaking, yeah, with high RPM use. Correct, so this is, <clears throat> this is good for 10,000 RPM. Yeah, so this awesome. motor's gonna rev nice, and it's a really satisfying Direct. feeling yeah. to know that that's Direct there. Direct bolt-on fit, so that's good. Should be a lot safer. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 10, 000, I wanna see 10,000 RPM now, or, no. or I'm, I'm gonna be pissed. Someone should have told me to go ahead and do that. Cause... I'll just rev the 10,000 with Dusty and hope it stays together. There you go. Just once. Ooh. Another another issue with these is the, the water pumps are actually kind of weak, the original ones. Mm -hmm. So Nissan came out with the N1, a little bit stronger, flows a little, more, a little bit more. It's a pretty common thing if you're going to be re rebuilding it to run the N1 water pump. Goes like that. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. You're good. And these are our 264s. Ready 264. Nine millimeter lift? I think it was nine. <clears throat> so. Somewhere in there? Yeah. Yeah, these were in the car before. They sounded really, really good, so they're going to perform really good. It's good idle, good drivability, a little extra power up top. Nothing too crazy, but she'll get the job done. What you doing? What are you doing? Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go? Yeah. That's your thing? Well, I'm monitoring the 260. Five people chat room now. 265? Roll intent and roll palm, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> you, guys, you guys like raiding and stuff? Dude, every day. I, I, can't, I can't keep up with these people. Everyone's out. You're not so, as good as them? No. It's not that. It's just I'm not going to stand in the sun. How many levels are you? I'm 33. 33? Out of 40. A million XP per level, dude. Million XP. Level 33. I don't even know what. I, I used to. I, I played this Pokemon Go when it first came out. It was addictive as hell. Don't do it. All the legendaries are out now. Legendary birds, baby. Legendary dogs. Yeah, we were here. Huh? I like those covers, man. The what? The valve covers? Yeah, it's like a matte purple. Almost. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it feels good. I like it. Yeah, you want those for your car? I mean, if I do an RB25 swap. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe. What'd you drive today? Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> so now we got two four doors sitting here. We got this blue one that we got in, which is kind of sweet. But we've got Lego Man Chris's. Just don't tell Roberto we're swapping the uh, dashes out. You're swapping the dashes? Just swapping the dashes. Don't tell Roberto? Don't tell Roberto. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Oh, ew, look at that. Ew, it's so gross. Ew. Yeah, crack dash. It's not bad though. The interior is good on this car. This is a pretty car. Mm. Smells nice. I know. It smells Japanese. That's like gain freshener. Gain freshener? Gain refresher. 
Okay. Why not, dude? So you get coils coming. Coils, suspension, hopefully wheels. The well, coils are here, aren't they? I have everything here. They're here. We just got to do them. Oh, wait. When yeah. are we doing them? I thought we were going to do them today, but then y'all were doing Jake's thing. Well, oh, okay. Wait a second. What's in here? Oh, Ooh, shit. look at all this. Ooh. Goodies. Ooh, calipers, too. Oh, look at oh, you. Brake upgrade. Wait, Skateboard. Oh, you know. A lot of ISR stuff. Oh, yeah. Go cheap or go home, right? That's not cheap. I mean, yeah, it's inexpensive, but they're good stuff. Yeah, it's not bad. It's thick. Wrong with that. I, I like this. I use ISR stuff on my. I got Skeletor's got ISR suspension mm -hmm. on it. Blueberry's got ISR suspension on it. Good Nothing wrong with me. It's good stuff. Say something. Say good something. Good quality. You say something. You're the one talking over there. <laughs> so today on Jack Buys Dumb Things, of course, I'm going to go look at something stupid. Why wouldn't it be? But it's just one of my guilty pleasure hobbies. I am. Um, I get my truck for this one, so that's a hint. Hopefully, it's as good as I hope. And uh, turns out it's a fellow hobbyist that used to do the same stuff I did. He still has his. I got rid of mine back in the day smartly, and now I'm being stupid, and I want to buy it again. So. So, typical fashion, I did it. Back to the scooter life for me again. This is like my fifth scooter, but this guy actually turned out, I've, I've known him on the forums before, um, on the scooter forums, that sounds fun. <laughs> anyway, known him on the forums, he makes good stuff. He's had some, some pretty sweet scooters and uh, we had the same taste in scooters and this one just pretty much matches what I had before. So, really excited to pick this one up. It's a, uh, of course, it does 74 miles an hour. It's pretty much the fastest 70cc scooter around, and uh, I intend to try and get it as close to that as possible, keep it running there, so. Deal's done. I'm gonna load this thing up. There she is, loaded up. Got me a box of goodies to go with it now. Let's take her home. I'm so dumb. Shaw, if you see this, I'm so dumb. You know how dumb I am. Cruising on our way. Well, I took the opportunity since I'm up this way. I'm gonna go hang out at the beach for a little bit, but I'm gonna get this baby home and uh, I'll offload it play around with it here uh, next few days but it's really kind of cool that this one became available right around right in my area uh, or where I travel and I just happened to be like eh, I'm gonna go look and see if there's any scooters every once in a while I just look for scooters because I, I mess with them break them and move on but when I saw this one I was like wait a minute got a little info on it and found out who it was and uh, pretty excited to pick it up just because I know that the person who built it is not an idiot and he was actually someone that I used to talk to and chat with on the forums so pretty excited about that it did 74 um, and I don't see any reason why I couldn't squeeze a couple more mile an hour out of it he's He's not like a, a professional tuner or anything, and I've got access to some resources that should allow me to squeeze every last drop out of it, so keep your eyes open for this one. We'll see what I can get out of it in the long run. If I hit, if I hit 75, 76 with it, that would be outrageous, just considering that it's such a small engine. It's only a 70cc. It's a, originally a 49cc Minarelli, but this one has a big bore and a crank, ported houses and everything on it. So it's it's a it's a pretty sweet two-stroke. I always like two-strokes just because they're harder to tune. And as a tuner, I'm naturally drawn to the intricate stuff like ITBs on you know cars and tuning, just the outrageous stuff, exotic fuel types or whatnot. So two-stroke is always a, an art form. You gotta get the exhaust right, you gotta get the intake right, you gotta get everything dialed in perfect, put it on pipe where it needs to be in order to make the power. So, 
you can bet I'm going to be playing with this. This is like a tuner's dream to have a little tunable thing. So, yeah. If I can get it up to, like I said, like 75, 76, that would be crazy. I'd be super happy with that. That's, that's, that's moving out for this little originally 49cc two-stroke. So, we'll see what we can do with it. But for now, I'm just going to hang out at the beach a little bit, get some food. Then I'll head home. Easy day. Ah. Back again. It just soothes the soul. was horrific. Hit the like button. <laughs> That's excitement. One of these. Front finger. That's it.